Howdy, and uh, welcome to a little talk about Square. Uh, specifically, Square and Lightcart. Um, if you are not familiar with Lightcart, it's a particularly wonderful e-commerce system. It's lightweight and um, has everything that I want and none of the things that you would find in WooCommerce and WordPress that I don't want. It's a little bit opinionated, but it's, in my opinion, I think that having a static site generator for your blog and having Lightcart together work really well. Um, let me just show you my versions of that. So I run Not Medical Advice. It's a herbal apothecary. We make uh, some things that are not on here, but others that are. So some beard oil and lotion bars, as well as, uh, well, locally we make uh, Huntsville, Utah's most natural shaved ice. Anyway, regardless of that, um, I make cold process soaps, deodorants, toothpaste, and a whole bunch of other things that I think are really awesome. But I also happen to take um, a number of different payment methods, like BTC Pay Server, Square, and Stripe. Now, the Stripe uh, processor was already there. It's something that you can purchase in addition to uh, as an as an add-on module for Lightcart. However. The BTC Pay Server and the Square payment processors are something that I added. So if you go to my GitHub, you'll see under my repos that, well, I do a few things, but um, you'll see the Lightcart BTC Pay Server add on as well as the Lightcart Square add on. Both of those are open source and freely available at Lightcart itself. Uh, so if you go to Lightcart and add-ons, um, it's a pretty extensible system, but for now let's just focus in on the uh, payment add-ons. So for instance, you can accept PayPal, and if some of these add-ons you do have to pay for, like I said, there's a, Stripe PayPal, uh, the, there's a Stripe checkout that you do have to pay for. However, the uh, Square payment add-on, as well as the BTC Pay Server add-on, are completely free. In the Likeheart world, that's just public domain. Uh, but beyond that, it's not just public domain, it's also open source. So that's the benefits there. Now, of course, Square itself is not open source, so uh, let's go to Square Up. And there are a few things that we can do there. So I'm just going to sign in really quickly. One of the things I want to showcase is the fact that um, you do have to perform a little bit of setup on your own system in order to start accepting um, Square payments at Lightcart sites once you've downloaded the add-on and added it to your Lightcart instance. Um, so I'll go into settings and then into app integrations. Here I already have a Lightcart add-on that I created uh, when I first began uh, testing the Lightcart add-on. Uh, you can actually create more if you wish. So for instance, you can manage that particular um, add-on, but you can also uh, create others. So, and I believe you have to do it, um, forget exactly where you need to do it. So it's probably gonna be under here. Three hours later. There's no way to delete an application. To rename an application, you need to switch to production first, then you can change the name of the application. Wow. All right, so, by the way, you don't want to create these um, willy-nilly, but you, you should certainly <clears throat> be particularly considerate when you're creating these. Um, you can't delete uh, applications. You can disconnect them, but you cannot delete them. Well, now you know. Okay, anyway, I've got my like heart um, add-on and once you're there you're going to want to grab your application ID and access token you're also going to want to know 
um, about your location ID. You're going to need all three of those tidbits of information in order to complete the uh, setup process on the Likert site. So now that we're done with all the information we need from Square, let's go ahead and go to uh, Likert. Sorry, my Likert in, uh, in particular. But uh, I just so happen to have a testing instance and a production instance and that was really useful for me so what I'm gonna do is uh, get in here and um, go to the or, uh, payment module for Square. So in Square checkout as I've created it uh, you have a number of options here. Uh, you, by default you've got an image that uh, is essentially just a Square logo. You have your sandbox um, or application ID and token and a location ID. You're going to want to be able to set um, after an order is created what um, what status it's going to be in. Uh, you can set geo lo zone locations, but I've never really used geo, geo zones in Likert. Maybe one day I will. After that, there are a number of things you can do that I've added um, mostly because I uh, also sell um, items using BTC Pay Server, and when you use cryptocurrencies, I give you a 15% discount. Well, if you select those options, I don't want Square to be available in those options, so I've created um, what are forbidden items and forbidden options, and so they'll, those will be grayed out in the event that you select them. So Square will be uh, um, removed from the list if you select any of these options is what I really mean. Okay, so let's uh, let's go test that out. This is the testing site. Um, all we have to do is go through and um, let's select something. So let's say I wanted to get this uh, memory stick. Go over here. Oh, look at that. You've got Square, Stripe, and PayPal as um, options. Well, what if, well, what if I really actually want to purchase with crypto? Um, and I might have to go back all the way over here and make sure that the BTC Pay server is enabled. It looks like it is. Okay, great. So some of these things like the duck and whatever. Okay, so let me pick lotion at 135. Okay, so let's go back to the front end. Let's say that I wanted to pick this particular lotion and I want to receive a cryptocurrency discount, so I'm going to add it to the cart. Now, there are things for which I don't receive a discount and there are things for which I do receive a discount in there, but regardless, now that I've selected those items, Square doesn't show up in the list. So um, that kind of is how the forbidden items works. This is just my testing site. And if I wanted to purchase with crypto, then I've got that discount available. As soon as I delete that out of the cart, then the other the other fiat options um, are available again. And that's how uh, the Square add-on works in Likert.